Pavel Fidek of Poland. Can Fidek go further than 80-12? Oh, I think he can. <laughs> Pavel Fidek of Poland is the world champion for the fourth time in a row. <laughs> Away first time and Holloway got a terrific start. He's in the leader at this early stage, McLeod as well. It's Holloway from McLeod. Shevenkov on the near side as well. Still just Grant Holloway. McLeod trying to get back. McLeod's gone. Grant Holloway comes through to take it. Shevenkov the silver. Martino Lagarde the bronze. 13.11. Omar McLeod's race went wrong, but boy did Grant Holloway's go right. He sets off around the Khalifa Stadium. Grant Holloway for the... Grant Holloway, you are the world champion in the 110 metre hurdles. And what a difference two years makes after being a reserve in 2017. Tell us about this moment. Moment is special. First one's always the best one. Um, now it's just one of the things, you know, you just try to relax and have fun and soak it all in. I mean, obviously you came here in as a world leader. You had all the pressure on your shoulders. Were you like living up to that? Were you playing on that? Were you using that to your advantage? Never. Um, I came out here worrying about my lane, my space, executed each round, and reserve, reserve, calm the whole time. And I, I think that was the biggest thing with me this weekend. As long as I stay calm, take the title of the meet off, don't forget it, don't think about who, who was in the race, just relax and have fun. And you were the Blue Ribbon event tonight, you got the light show. Did that kind of add to the pressure or did you just thrive on that? I tried to just have some fun. It's a blessing to be here, you know. Not everybody can say they're at World Championship. So I soaked it all in and, and, and made the best of it. I bet you're pretty pleased that you picked this event over the long jump now, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, they were jumping. <laughs> and, a, and a career in obviously American football as well. You had loads of options. Why this event? Um, appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Um, it's just one of the things, you know, it's just what I wanted to do. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with the way God led me, and I, I give all the glory to him. And a word to the University of Florida? Go Gators. <laughs> Go Gators. Congratulations, Grant. Hang on. Right. Second. And you, oh, gosh, okay. Right. Sergi Sergi Shabenkov. The, the only people who would like to interview me I... three times for this competition. After, after every round, you would like to interview me. Thank you so much. You're the only one so far. Well, it's because you just got a medal. Why would we not want to speak to you? <laughs> well, actually, it was a tough, really tough medal for me. I'm really glad this is over, and I'm really glad about the outcome. So I got second in silver in the World Championships. This is my fourth, fourth medal in a row uh, from the Worlds. I got now two silvers, one bronze and one gold. Of course, I would like to, well, gold would be more preferable, of course, but uh, I'm really glad I had this really tough season this year. I had a really nice injury in June and really painful recovery, and I, I have overcome a lot this year, and I'm, I'm just glad this is over. And, and, and I even got a medal, oh my God. So this is, this is over, just, it could be better, but it actually couldn't. You seem really shocked with it. Your season was building, though, up until this point. You came here in good form. Why are you so shocked? Um, I cannot, no, I'm not quite shocked. I'm just feeling, uh, you know, really like emotionally empty so far, exhausted. It's a little bit shocked, I could say. So I really cannot, it's hard to believe. But remembering that what differences, I, uh, difficulties I've managed to overcome this year. So. Uh, it's really, uh, th there's really a lot to consider. So, yeah, that's a little bit lost, so sorry. Yeah, you had injuries, of course, this season. You just alluded to them. How do you keep motivated and keep mentally strong and then go out there today and do what you just did? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, my, ha my family helped me a lot, my coach. Uh, was really I felt for some for a period I felt like he was dragging me out of this because I really uh, you know I really always been keeping I've been really keeping in my mind that you know I could quit and and drop everything and just stop stop uh, every stop any training and go away just any moment so any moment I could quit and you could quit any moment so this really <laughs> helped helped me to uh, to go on.
You didn't quit. You're a silver medalist. You're a medalist once again at the World Championship in the 110 meter hurdles. Go and enjoy this moment. I'm really enjoying. Thank you so much. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> he carry. He wants to carry on chatting. Well done, Sergi. Thank you. Pascal Martinot Lagarde. Congratulations there. Third place in the men's 110 meters hurdles. The smile says it all. Tell me how it feels. I'm really, really happy. It's my first uh, medal in World Championship, you know. Four years ago, I did fourth. In you know, Olympic Games, I did fourth yeah. again. So I wanted, I really wanted to go home with a medal. And so I'm really happy to, to win finally a bronze. Today. When you get a fourth in Olympic Games and a fourth in the World Championships, it must be quite hard. How do you overcome that and go out there today and do what you just did? The, the worst is the, the digest. You can't, you can't sleep during some days after being forced. You can't, you don't have appetite. You, you everything is, you're sad. You're just sad. Force is the, the I, I think maybe you can digest better to be the last one. But when you are fourth, it's like you, you are almost on the podium. And this almost is very, very difficult to digest. So now today it's totally different. Finally, I get my medal. You've been one of the best in Europe. You're now one of the best in the world. How does it compare? Oh uh, yeah, last year I was a uh, European champion. And uh, uh, this year Sege did better. He was uh, in front of me by, with uh, two milliseconds. But, well, zero, but uh, zero to second. So I'm not the European leader anymore, but he's a guy, a championship guy. And I am too. We, we did, both of us, we did a really, really good race. And uh, we just have to beat next time a Grand away <laughs> to make the European uh, guys in front of the world, I hope. Congrats. We will win uh, Olympic Games, I hope. Good luck next year in the Olympic Games. Pascal, well done. Thank you, thank you. So Watch for the start then, Asha Smith out in lane seven has gone out very quickly indeed, looking to take Brown with her inside Bryant as well. Asha Smith has gone blazing through the first hundred metres and leads into the straight. The Americans either side of her, Bryant and Brown. Asha Smith holding her form. Has she got the strength here? She's moving away. Dina Asha Smith, the best of British, is finally on top of the world. 21.89. It's history for Great Britain, a first ever. Dina Asha Smith, you are the 200 metre world champion a feat that no British woman has ever done before, need I say any more? Thank you. Um, it's very, very surreal. Thank you so much. I mean, coming into this, I just wanted to go out there and do my coach proud, do the work that we've been doing, um, justice, and ultimately do GB proud. But um, when I was out there, I was thinking, please, please, just run the race how you know you can and win. And I'm so happy. You're absolutely making GB proud because you were mentioned in Parliament earlier today. Oh they even wished you luck. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know that. I've been off social media, so um, I had absolutely no idea. Hope that you're all happy. Thanks. <laughs> and a national record as well. I mean, you obviously got a silver in the 100 metres. Kind of a perfect championship. Um, Fingers crossed, touch wood, it continues. I mean, it's not done yet. Hopefully the next time I come through this mix zone, we'll be able to have that conversation again. Um, but thank you very much. Two PBs and two medals, one of them a gold medal. It's absolutely fantastic. Go and treat yourself, you deserve it. After the relay. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. Brittany Brown, congratulations. Silver there in the women's 200 meters at the World Championship. You have announced yourself onto the world stage. How does it feel? Um, it's a great feeling. Walking across, I'm just thinking of my support system, my coaches, my sister that's here, my mom that prayed with me before this race. And I'm just super thankful for the people that have been in my life. And without them, I'm nothing. So without God, I'm nothing. And I'm just super, super blessed to be here. And to pull out a PB yeah. in the final as well, 22-22. Uh, that was a good feeling. Uh, I didn't know I was running that fast. Usually when you PR, you don't really know it. I looked up, I was like, oh my God, I PR'd again. So I really just um, pride myself at the right time. Super blessed and super thankful and yeah. Tell us about the race as well, because you had Dina Asher-Smith on your outside, obviously coming around that bend, she was ahead. Did that make you kind of push more or tense a little bit? Um, 
Yeah, it kind of made me tempted, but at the same time, it also made me want to focus on what I need to do and focus on myself. So, yeah. How are you going to celebrate tonight? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Maybe some ice cream. <laughs> hopefully some Oreos. I really love Oreos. So, <laughs> hopefully that. <laughs> you deserve it. Go and find some Oreo ice cream. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Majinga Kambunji, congratulations there. Third place in the 200 meters in the world. History being made. They're the first Swiss athlete to ever make it to a 200 meter final. Just sum up your thoughts right now. Um, it's hard. <laughs> um, I think I don't really realize it. Um, I'm so happy. I was so happy yesterday that I made the final. It was, um, it was a long way and um, um, I was just so happy to run here, to be here. I knew it's going to be tight. I knew I just have to, be, uh, to have to do a really good race and I'm so happy. I was really focused on myself. I was able to do a good race and, um, and it was enough. I did the medal. Because <laughs> you made history even by getting to the final. Did you manage to sleep last night? Uh, late, really late, but uh, I slept long this morning, so I was uh, totally fine. <laughs> and what did your coaches say to you coming into the final today? Did they tell you to change anything at all? No, they just said that I have to just focus on myself, do a good bend, don't cramp in the end, just do your race and have fun. And it was really, it was really cool. I was really happy to come back on the track and race again. And it was just, yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> Describe how it was being out there at the start line waiting to go trying to get a medal i was just nervous i'm always so nervous i think you can see it on the camera <laughs> but i really need it it gives me a lot of energy and then i just wanted i just wanted to go i just wanted to show what i have in my legs to do the best race even if it's enough or not i was just wanted to, to do a good race i mean such an amazing championships for you so close to making the 100 meter final and now a bronze in the 200 meter final congratulations go and enjoy it Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so happy I was able to uh, use this chance and do my best and get that medal. Are you going to be celebrating or have you got a relay to contest? I have a relay. I'm really happy to have a day off tomorrow, but I'm really looking forward to come back and run the relay again. Have a brilliant rest day. You deserve it. Thank you very much.